Hi there, the following video will answer question 4, part I and II, the OCR, Core 3, Maths, January 2010 paper. OK, let's start off. It tells us that a function f is defined for all real values of x by this function here. f of x is equal to 2, subtract the cube root of x plus 1. And it kindly draws a diagram of this particular function here. It asks us to evaluate f of f of minus 126. Don't try and work out in general al algebraic terms what f of f, what the composite function f of f is. The easiest way to do this type of question is evaluate f, the function, at minus 126, get the number for that, and then substitute it back into f to work out what f of f of minus 126 is. So to start with, let's work out f of minus 126. Well, that's equal to, substituting in minus 126 here, 2, subtract the cube root of minus 126 plus 1, which is minus 125. What's the cube root of minus 125? What number multiplied by itself three times gives negative 125? Well, the answer is negative 5. So this is simply 2 subtract negative 5. 2 subtract negative 5 is equal to 2 plus 5, which is equal to 7. So f of minus 126 is equal to 7. Therefore, f of f of minus 126 must equal f of 7. And we just need to substitute 7 into this equation here. 2 subtract the cube root of 7 plus 1, which is 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. So we get 2 subtract 2, which is simply 0. Therefore, f of f of minus 126 is equal to 0. OK, next question, slightly harder. Find the set of values of x for which the function f of x is equal to its modulus. So f of x equals the modulus of f of x. Let's just think what this means. Ignoring this original function here, imagine we took ourselves any function that looks something, let's say, like this. Imagine this is our function. If you wanted to ask yourself what the modulus of f of x looks like, what does the graph of the modulus of f of x look like? Essentially, the modulus makes negative things positive. So, it would look very like f of x, Anything that's positive stays positive. So this is a positive f of x values here, exactly like the f of x over here. All the positives stay the same. Where the graph is negative, you just take the value, say this here had a y value here of minus 3, you just make it a positive number so it has value plus 3. So the modulus actually effectively reflects anything below the x-axis above the x-axis. So that's what the modulus of f of x looks like. Let's try and use that on the graph we've got in the question. Let's have a look at when our function f of x is bigger than 0, where the y value is bigger than 0. Well, all along here, this function is bigger than 0, all the way to that point there. At this point here, the function suddenly starts taking negative values. So when we draw the modulus function, it will look exactly like this all the way along here, where anything that becomes negative will be reflected up and become positive, something like that. This, therefore, is the key value. Everything before this value, f of x is equal to the modulus of f of x. Anything after this value, the original function and the modulus function are no longer the same. Let's work out this function here. This is when the function f of x is equal to 0 because the y value will be 0. So we're trying to solve 0 equals 2 minus the cube root of x plus 1. Add the cube root of x plus 1 to both sides so you get the cube root of x plus 1 is equal to 2. Cube both sides so you get x plus 1 is equal to 8 and then subtract 1 to get x is equal to 7. This point here is x is equal to 7. Therefore the original function equals the modulus function for all values of x less than or equal to 7. 